Hello guys, that's me again. Red flowers. Very bright, darkish, deep red or crimson flowers. Today it is peonies, crimson peonies. I wanted to make them very bright, but I didn't want them to be pinkish. They are they are very bright. And in this sunny day this warm color was so vivid. So warm crimson color of these beautiful peonies. How we can make them vivid, bright and and so red without whitening? Let's see what colors we can use. I have here three shades of cold red crimson color. Carmine, Pyrrole Red and Madur Lake. Actually, Carmine and Madur Lake are pretty similar, but in mixtures they are a little bit, they have little difference with each other. I squeezed burnt umber for warm colors and ultramarine for cold shades. So let's see the mixture with carmine. I mixed carmine with ultramarine. It turns out very darkish cold color. We will use it in, in the shades. Sorry. <clears throat> Let's mix Mother Lake, Mother Lake and Ultramarine. These are the colors for our shades, for the very dark ones. So you can see the difference here. Yeah, it is pretty similar colors actually. I will do, use Madder Lake in this painting. Sometimes it is almost black. Now I decided to mix Madder Lake with Burnt Umber. It is all very dark and it is really difficult to get the difference. Because I am sitting in the shadow and the other stage is in the very very bright sun. So you see the difference between Carmen and Madder Lake. So I can say that you can use them for your shadows. Carmen it is very beautiful color, but it is little bit too dark. Too dark for our bright sunny nice color of our lights of our light petals of our of the peony so for this purpose <coughs> i will use pyro red the value of this shade is much light but at the same time it is cold uh, hue of red it is not poor red but it is crimson nice very beautiful color and we will use it in our lights. A little bit of yellow and all the green. I used azo yellow light, titanium white and uh, olive green. So we have three contrast colors. The day is very sunny, so the contrasts are high. Sunny yellow greenish color very dark crimson and our pyro red the sketch of our flowers i suggest to make with charcoal in very light lines 
so if you want the sketch of this flowers of this painting please send me your email and I will send it to you I mixed olive green, a little bit ultramarine and a lot of titanium white. Sometimes I want it darker, sometimes I want it lighter. And so I make a background among our around our flowers so that I will apply thick strokes of our crimson color and not to mix them with with green sometimes i want to mix it with green but i would like to make it on purpose the lightning is very bright today so i will make a painting with a high contrast I quite like this very happy and nice and funny combination of these two colors light yellow light yellowish green and bright crimson color so now we are creating a background now as I said I'm making a background which surrounds our flowers to avoid the mixing of green and crimson color in the future to control our process Now it's time to apply our red colors. I took the, the darkest shade of, um, of my carmine and ultramarine mixture. The peony is a spherical form, so I am trying to build here a spherical form for the first.
and now I took my pyro red, poor pyro red, and I apply it underneath of my petals, forming this sphere, this red ball with the light side and the dark side, and the smooth transition between them. Well, sometimes not very smooth because it is palette knife, you know. Just right up on this sh round shape. It will be in the next video. But now I'm making the shape. It is all about shape. Now I applied two shades and and for the spherical form we have to see smooth transition between our light red and our dark red. This background will be underneath of our petals. So, but it will pop up and we will see it. And it we will see that the flower is volumetric, not flat. The darkest place it is it should be opposite to the sun and the lightest place looks directly on our sun. The problem of the painting on a sunny day is that in the shadow you see nothing. It is all very, very dark. And in the light it is too bright, too much contrast. But finally, I have decided to replace to the, to the sun. And the rest of my painting I will be I will make on the sun. So you can see the so you can see the difference. The next video I will continue on the sunny side. So don't miss it. I will finish this still life with peonies. The rest of the flowers I will finish my vase the rest of the background, a table. So, see you in the next video.